If you're going to look at a blog and you have to make frequent updates, you want to have to really know your product and know your market, know your industry, and care about it. If something looks forced, it is forced, and people aren't going to want to engage with something that looks like you did it just because you were told to. In order to have a successful blog that gets engagement from readers and potential customers, you need to really know your industry and study it, and have an energy to engage, and to have unique articles that can come out with a level of frequency that people will be return visitors and find out that you're participating. So there are a number of companies who have embraced blogging. Uh, two of them in specific example include Sun, Microsystems, and Cisco. Uh, both of those companies have managed to take what's typically a very large enterprise and turn that into a social experience where you have communities. Each one of those companies encourages its employees to participate and speak on behalf of the company with limits. You don't want to disparage the company. You want to speak about its products and its customers in a good light and not to violate any kind of confidentiality and secrets you may have with partners or the company itself. It's been fantastic to see these companies that are traditionally closed open up and really start to engage the rest of the blogosphere. Companies that operate blogs, typically you want to say an update no less than once a week. The truth is, if you don't have enough content of unique nature to publish more than once a week, maybe you shouldn't be blogging. There are some people who also publish much more frequently than that, upwards of multiple times a day. That depends on the topic, the subject matter, and uh, what the individual knows about that space where they can deliver unique content with value frequently.